Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new SBC Maja card that came out today. Uh, we're taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 11 with high medium work rates, right footed, and he's 3 star, 3 star. Now, I checked out the traits of the card in regards to him having nothing, but the thing about this card is that he's very disappointing because if they actually gave him the 4 star, 4 star, for 100k, you're actually looking at a pretty solid card that EA could have totally just given back to the community and be like, hey guys, thanks for playing our awful gameplay. We'll just give you a card that costs 100k that's a four star, four star monster, okay? But unfortunately, EA's not really like that. So we're taking a look at a card that is 93 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. Attacking positioning at 91, but we give him the sniper chemistry style to compensate for gameplay while giving him 96 attacking positioning. Uh, 96 finishing, we're gonna make it 99. His shot power at 95 is already quite solid. It, and then you would be boosting the volleys and penalties with the sniper chemistry style as well. In regards to passing, his base card stats for passing, whether he plays in the cam position or striker position, is pretty solid. I actually like it a lot. Him being a five foot eleven player, right, with base card stats like that in regards to dribbling and strength at ninety nine, while being a five foot eleven player, it has a lot of potential, right? Again, if they made it a four star, four star player, this guy could have been really, really sick. He has 92 stamina, 89 jumping uh, jumping stats, and 99 heading accuracy. So, I mean, the thing about the 3-star, three 3-star three is that it's important to have 4-star, four 4-star four star nowadays, right? If you were looking at this card as an 80k objective, but this was but we were playing like FIFA 15, yeah, the price would 100% be worth it because the way the game mechanics worked in that game is that, you know, you could use players like Aryan Robin and he would still be really sick in the game even though he had like a 2-star weak foot, right? But unfortunately, with the way the mechanics work this year, it just really sucks that EA didn't give him the 4-star, four 4-star. Four now, do I think that regardless of the fact that he's missing those specific things do i think he can make a really good card absolutely because the fact that he's 511 with 99 strength i don't know what his body type is in game uh is very very intriguing to me i did have to give him the sniper chemistry style as we normally do this channel is nothing without this chemistry style to basically make him perfect at dribbling because if his dribbling is perfect and he can compensate for the lack of weak foot then that would be really really cool so this is the team that we are using we got Bakayoko chilling in there. I love Bakayoko on cup passing lanes. It's a beautiful, beautiful specimen of a card. With Lauren Blanc next to him, it's just like two gods right next to each other, okay? I'm going to show you guys how we're going to line up in-game. Don't like Raul's card that much anymore. And during that time period, I did like him, but, uh, you know, it's 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 been a while. It's been a while since uh, since he's been irrelevant, to be honest. Um, yeah, so the way that we're going to be lined up in-game is going to look like this. Nice little typical 4-2-3-1. We can actually switch Corona to the right side with Ricardo Pereira on the left because Ricardo Pereira is left-footed. Um, we're gonna have the instruction of just balance first. If I notice that he's a type of striker that actually loves to aggressively push to the sides while playing with other people or the other players in the team in regards to the attacking positions, that'll definitely be very interesting because um, if he actually does that, that means that on stage central, he has the potential to be really, really good off the ball because as you guys know, when I was using Ozzy Main's card for the review today, um, stay central on him is an absolute beautiful instruction. He knew he moves around the pitch really nicely and uh, Hopefully this Maja card does the same thing So obviously with these types of reviews what I recommend you doing the card at 80k for a three-star three-star player Not necessarily I feel like with EA they could have made this SPC Better in regards to giving him the four-star four-star could it would be these SPCs would be cool because it'd be like giving back to the community for playing their awful game, right? So um yeah, let's go ahead, go into a game, see how it plays out. Hopefully he's uh hopefully he's usable, man. Okay, let's see what his dribbling is like here. Yeah, pretty responsive for his height, which is pretty nice. Okay. He's not super aggressive in, in regards to moving into that space, which is perfectly fine. I like the way that he was moving right there. Little shield, little drag back. Yeah, generic skill was coming off decently. He's not super aggressive in regards to running into certain areas. Like, when he is asking for the ball, he kind of positions himself in a certain way where it's like... Um, you could tell that he's not running into the space, like, really quickly. He's kind of, like, just jogging into it, but at least he is utilizing the side positions really well. I don't feel like I need to give him the stay central instruction just yet, so we're going to keep experimenting with that.
I do feel like his dribbling, like, here's the thing, right, guys? Like, I gave him 99 dribbling in regards to everything, uh, but his characteristic of his physical and stuff is still pretty noticeable. So, regardless of all the stats being essentially 99 dribbling, he doesn't move like someone like Bernardo Silva or anything like that, right? So, don't expect him to move that quickly. However, uh, the card actually feels kind of usable so far in regards to off-the-ball movement, because even the situation right there of him aggressively pushing forward, um, it actually causes a lot of... Um, it causes a lot of trouble for the defenders because they don't really know exactly what you want to do. Um, because when they come back into the midfield area for me to make a pass onwards to them in the attacking areas, like situations like this, you can see that he starts to go downwards a little bit there without me having to tell him to stay central. So I have to keep experimenting with it because he's not super aggressive, but he's also not like stagnant, which is good. Nice, good dribbling there. Try a shot from that angle, actually. Yeah. Shots from those angles are pretty generic. You just try them out to see what's up with it. Yeah, I don't feel like I have to give any instruction on him. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to leave the game, but uh, I don't have to. I don't feel like I have to give any instruction on him so far. He's moving around the pitch really nicely. Not, like, amazingly well, but we're going to keep experimenting with it. How do you move here? Uh, his position there was pretty poor, to be fair. Once he got out of position, he had to go back into it pretty quickly in the middle area. Um, you know what? I feel like he's definitely usable without the instructions. I do want to try him on stay central, get in behind. I need to force... No, I don't even want to put get in behind on the car. I just need to force the runs out of him. A little bit because he's not he's not as aggressive when it goes when it comes to like getting into the space sometimes you have to force them to get in behind so that their characteristic kind of like plays with the instruction a little bit you know okay so he gets in behind there he does go back into the middle in that situation right there which isn't too bad i don't know if i want to force again behind out of him though man i don't know if i if i want to i'm gonna keep seeing Oh, I don't like that he's too aggressive right there, you know? I need to switch that. Hold on. No, no, no. I need to... I need to see if he'll move better. I can't force get in behind out of him. I need to just put... Stay central. I'm gonna put just stay central on him. Let's see how he moves now. Okay. Keeps going to the side with the stay central instruction. He kind of comes back a little bit here... Okay. His movement is so weird, man. It's like usable, but even on stay central, like I don't know what he's doing. It's like he he continues to go to the side too often, but then it is because I'm also using Bernardo Silva and Bernardo Silva likes to cut inside a lot. So let me just keep looking at this. His dribbling is not that responsive, though, guys. Even with the sniper chemistry style, like, regardless of it being in the 99s, uh, his, uh, his dribbling doesn't feel that responsive, you know? See, that situation right there, I hate when my players take, like, heavy touches. Like, obviously, the gameplay is not great right now, but players that should have good dribbling, they don't do that regardless. Like, Bernardo Silva, perfect example of that, right? See that emphasis touch that he does right there? I don't like that. Try a finesse shot from here. Pretty good there, actually. Very powerful, very direct there. Um, no, I need to play one more game with him. I'm just gonna keep him on balance. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just keep him on balance. I'm gonna play a little bit with him here. Hold on. He's a very strange card. It's uh, it's one of those things where like I can't just play like one or two games and get like a really good picture of him, right? Because uh, I never use any previous version of this card, so I don't know exactly what he's like. With Ozimino, it was so easy because I used him so much before. I knew exactly what instructions I I had to put on him for it, for him to perform. Uh, with this card, uh, I'm definitely seeing that you limit his potential when you. You limit his potential when you actually set certain attacking instructions on him, right? Like, don't don't tell him to stay central or anything like that because he moves so strangely. Like, stay central is just... He doesn't even move like a stay central player, right? So, I want to play uh, I'll play with him on balance. I don't want to... I don't want to switch from that. Ooh! 
a floater, obviously, because finesse shots are, if you don't have the traits, not crazy good. Are you on side there? No, he's not. I had a feeling he wasn't. He was offside for a while there, actually. I mean, dudes, to be honest with you guys, he feels very generic so far. Like, in relation to someone like Ozyman, right? Ozyman is a different breed compared to a card like this. And Ozyman is a card that, you know, you pay 180 k for in regards to price value. Uh, this card just feels like a usable... It feels like a usable card. It just doesn't feel that crazy good. Um, like, I, with his stats, he could have potentially been, like, some sort of, like, hidden overpowered beast, right? But... He doesn't really feel like some sort of hidden overpowered beast. Uh, he just kind of feels like a card you can definitely use in your team if you wanted to. Like if you're a Nigerian fan or something, uh, kind of like you know if there was like a if it was like a Portuguese striker, then you know he's in that range. But I don't know. Yeah, his dribbling should feel way more responsive, man. Especially with the sniper chemistry style, like it just doesn't because of his base characteristics. Touch, finesse shot from there, okay. At least he scores that opportunity right there. Yeah, like I said, I, like, he's not terrible, guys, right? He's not a terrible card. He's, I, I put him, I have my own brackets when it comes to cards. Like, with Rafael Liao, I put him, like, below usable, right? But with this card, at least I put him on the usable, or in the usable range, you know? He just doesn't feel as good as he probably should with those dribbling stats, you know? If you can play off the fact that he's not... Because there's certain areas where I wish he was a little bit more aggressive in regards to coming back into the onside position, uh, attacking areas, all that kind of stuff. I don't really feel like he does that for me. Like, you can, you can kind of see even there. Like, he doesn't aggressively push it until, like, a little bit afterwards, right? I want to see if he, how long it takes him to get back into position here. Rotating with the other players. Sticks to the side there. He still has like this like uh this emphasis thing on his dribbling. It's basically like you know why I keep saying it guys because it's 99s, you know what I'm saying? Like for everything except for like agility. Agility's at a 98, right? But I'm telling you man, a, per a person will always perform similar to their base card stats and they will with the upgrade. The upgrade's there for sure, but they just perform more to their base. This guy's making a run. Okay, I want to see what you do over here. I'm pushing up. At least, he, at least he utilizes that spot pretty good. Or pretty well. See his movement? It's so weird. Like, he chooses the worst times to be aggressive, you know? I wish every striker moved like uh, like Ozyman on that Stay Central instruction. Oh, I love it, dude. Like, why is he running away from me there? You know what I'm saying? Like... Even if I have the state central instruction, he does that exact same thing where he loves to push to the side. It's so strange. Yeah, he still has that, like, sluggish feel to him on the dribbles, man. He does that, like, push every time he's got to do the dribble, you know what I mean? Come on, my dude. Run over here. Nah, his off-the-ball movement is it's just not it. Touch, across goal. Yeah, right to the goalkeeper. Are you on? Please tell me you're on side. Oh, at least he's on side there. <laughs> All right, guys. So final verdict on the Magic card was that you know I wasn't really feeling the card too much. So I did give him the sniper chemistry style to start off with the card because I needed to test him out with that dribbling specifically, and he doesn't feel that responsive. Now it's kind of like a characteristic of his where uh, it's like I don't know how to explain. It. Like he's kind of sluggish, but not really sluggish. It's very hard to explain because a card like this should have felt significantly better with the sniper chemistry style because of the fact that he has 99 strength with 99 dribbling. Like having that on three star, three star, this guy could have been an overpowered monster in game if he actually felt like that in game, but he doesn't, right? The card that I compare to nowadays because of this card being released recently was this three star, three star Rodriguez card that they released as a Confederations league one or something I, I forgot which which spc oh the mexican league um 140k is way too much for this card right but i mean this card was sick you know a sniper chemistry style on him the way that he was moving around the pitch off the ball wise shooting animation wise dribbling wise he was actually really nice this guy was wasted potential that they didn't give him four star four star um i didn't really feel that 
with this Maja card. You know, I felt like his dribbling should have been significantly better since his dribbling with the boost is actually better than Rodriguez, right? It was just, uh, it was a very strange, uh, it was a very strange experience. Like he should have felt way better in game. And in my opinion, he just didn't, right? So that's my opinion on the card. If you guys end up using it or getting it for sentimental value, he is usable slash a concept card. These are the types of cards where I don't even rate them from a baby meta perspective. Uh, perspective. That Rodriguez card, I don't even, I wouldn't consider him baby meta because he's not four star, four star, but like he's pretty close to it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they gave him the four star, four star, he would have been a really, really dope card. I just feel like even even if you give this card a 4-star, four 4-star, four it would have been a cool concept for 90k, but he wouldn't have performed that well in game, um, in my opinion. Like, dude, the fact that you can go get Ozymane with a 4-star weak foot at like 170, 180k, like, yeah, you pay another 100k for a card that's tradable, but... Man, I'm telling you guys, like, use Ozyman on state central instructions, the way that he moves around the pitch, the way he understands he's offside, comes back in the onside position. It's completely different to this Maja card. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.